Uh, I'm joined here in studio by Alexandre Guimont from uh, Altitude Spa. Welcome to the show. Welcome, uh, thank we're, you. We're going to clear up a few things. Uh, what, what better day to, uh, to talk about winter uh, sports, out, outdoor sports, obviously, uh, than uh, today when it's very cold outside. But yeah. before, uh, we, we said before the break that AltitudeSports.com is where you get mo most of your products. Yeah. But do you do have locations, though, where we can get the product? We have two retail stores, in one in Montreal, one in Mont-Tremblant, but we do our main business online. Our goal is to offer the, the best shopping experience online. So. Which is this great, because, I mean, the world is heading that way anyway. Exactly. All right, let's get right to it. Something that really impresses me is, is days like today, days like yesterday, uh, you know, runners, they're still out there, they're still going. Yeah. So tell me about uh, this, this fit over here. Some people are brave enough to go out uh, when <laughs> exactly. it's cold, but you need the, the proper outfit. So the idea when you go running is obviously to have a, a really light outfit, something that would be... Light but warm. Light, warm and windproof. The goal is really to cut the wind out of your, your outfit and keep your warm inside. You want something close fitting, so you won't have a, a chaffing yeah. or a uncomfortable of friction. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, you know, like there are specific gloves and mittens that will keep your uh, your fingers warm. And the shoes, shoes with crampons. Very important, right? Yeah, especially when it's icy like today and this weekend. Some of them have crampons integrated in them, so you'll have a better grip. Um, Is there a special way to run? You think not that uh, not that you're the expert, but when it's icy, you, you have you to learn, right? You want to be careful, so I advise like go out for a run for a 10-minute run. Even if you're a really experienced runner, just try with a short run and then see how it goes, and then improve over time. Great, but start slowly. That's Amazing. the best advice. Thank you very much. Alpine skiing, one of my favorites. I did a lot of racing when I was a kid. Looking yeah. forward to going back. Uh, cold days are tough to go out, especially, but tell me about this here. Well, when you go skiing, layering is the key because obviously you'll be going up chairs, waiting and being and cold. And it's colder upstairs too. Yeah, it's colder. And then when you go down, well, then you're sweating and you're warmer. So <laughs> layering is really key. So you, you can have a good base layer that will keep you dry. Uh, a mid layer that will keep you warm, and then the outer jacket that will protect you from wind, water, uh, snow. And there are some ski features like articulated elbow, a bigger uh, hood for the a helmet, bigger hoodies. and powder skirts. And the helmets too, very important these very days, important. Uh, as we saw with the unfortunate accident with Michael Schumacher. Thank you very much. Uh, this looks great, by the way. Yep. All right, so snowshoeing also is becoming very, very popular. I know that Joanne, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I know that Joanne uh, loves to go snowshoeing, so yeah. tell me about this stuff. I've never done it myself, though, but uh, I, I should try it, right? Yeah, snowshoeing is great. It's, a, it's an in-between between running and skiing. Like, you can go just uh, as a contemplative sport, but you can go for training as well. Spend or, or, like, go outside for, for a nice walk yeah, in the woods. Yeah, take pictures, just walk outside. But in that case, you need something that will breathe a lot. So you can buy a soft shell, something that will be wind-resistant, water-resistant, but not completely waterproof because you want it to breathe and evacuate humidity as much as possible. So in that case, you have a water, uh, a soft shell jacket and a soft shell pant. You can add a, a pair of gaiters to prevent the snow to come in, in no your boots. No snow in the boots, you don't always good, snow. because those boots are short at uh, the ankle. Exactly. Okay, so. great, great. Well, uh, thank you very much, Alexandre. All those products are available at adstutspob.com especially, yep. but also in uh, your locations. And now we're all set to, to go skiing, snowshoeing, go running. I'm not sure I'm going to try the running, but uh, everything Maybe else. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Thank you. And you guys will be back right after the break right here on Breakfast Television.